In a recent survey done by Biotechnica in its entire audience pool, we realized that 77% people are targeting a research and development career. And that's a big size of people who are in their 20s, in their mid 20 or early 20s, who want to become scientists, researchers and make a mark in the research world. And that is very exciting for me as a founder of Biotechnica because I believe if we are able to help you, definitely each one of you can create a big revolution in the society, in the biological research segment and of course for yourself as well. So today's video is targeted towards the ABCD of biological research. No, I'm not going to teach you ABCD. I'm going to tell you the basics of what is required to become a researcher in the biotech industry, in the biotech academia, not just in India, but across the globe. So watch this video till the end. You will end up with some amazing insights about biological research. Now, to start with, the first thing which uh, comes in our mind is the alphabet A. Now, in biological research, A stands for analysis. Okay. Now, what does it mean is whenever you will per perform any kind of biological research, it is useless without the analysis part. So you have to be really analytical in your approach. You have to be really good in mathematical data and interpretation, and you have to be good in statistics. Now, these are the three things which is very, very important if you want to win over the A of biological research, and that is analytical part analysis. Now, let's say that you did an experiment, right? You got some data, but if you are not able to conclude some credible things out of that data, then it's of no use. That is where the first thing comes in. It's the A part, the analysis part of biological research. Now comes the alphabet B. Now B in ABCD stands for basic research. In biology, basic research is very, very important. If you have a very strong control over the basic research, if you have a very strong approach over basic research, you can excel here like anything. So basic research is an amazing field which you can get to. Now what is basic research? You need to have understanding of the underlying principles, underlying concepts and theory, theory part of biology so that's very important the theory part of biology that is basic research is very very important so a stands for analysis b stands for basic research basic understanding of underlying biological principles and that is very very important now let's move on to the c part so the alphabet c stands for collaboration now any biological research is incomplete without collaboration you will have to collaborate with organizations you will have to collaborate with researchers you will have to collaborate with the various time zones, uh, people sitting in different time zones also. Now, why do I say that? Now, let's look at that. When you will do research, you will generate a lot of data. Now, that data needs to be compiled, interpreted, and there will be various people who will be much more equipped than you in interpreting that data, and you'll have to collaborate with them. Suppose you are doing research, and now that particular instrument is not in your lab, it is in some other lab, so you will have to reach out and collaborate with them and work. And of course, when you're doing research, it is always a teamwork, so collaboration, is the most important component of your biological research and that is what C stands for collaboration. Let's move on to the next part which is D. So the D part of biological research is designing the experiment. How you design the experiment will lead you to the right kind of answers to your experiment, right type of, right type of conclusions you'll be able to withdraw. Now let us let me uh, say that okay suppose I I'm asking a wrong question to Google. Can Google give me the right answer? No, it can't. If I have to ask what is, uh, say, hepatitis, instead I'm asking what is, uh, you know, vitamin, it cannot give me the hepatitis, right? So basically, you have to design the experiment in the right way. You have to then perform the experiment in the right way. Experiment designing itself is a big art and a science. And uh, if you want to learn that, we have a course on that as well. The link is in the description. You can check that out. So these are the four alphabets A, B, C, D, analysis, basic research, collaboration and designing the right experiment, which will become your four core principles whenever you will do research in the biosciences industry, any type of biological research. Now, apart from that, there are various other things which you should know, which we will be covering in our next videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed and do not forget to subscribe to and join our Telegram channel because most of the biotechnology, biotechnical activity happens right there. So be a part of the ever vibrant, ever growing Telegram channel of Biotechnica. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. 
Till then, please comment below if you have any questions. We would love to take them. Take care. Bye-bye.